We'll now look at how to represent relations. So we can use a 0, 1 matrix, and this happens between finite sets. So if R is a relation from A to B, our relation R can be represented by the matrix M, where M sub IJ, so the entry in the i row in the j column, is 1 if A, I, B, J is in R, and it's 0 if it's not in R. So in other words, it has a 1 as its ij entry when ai is related to bj and 0 otherwise. So we have a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and b is equal to 1, 2, 3. We're going to define the relation from a to b where the points in there if a is greater than b. So this would be similar to the table that we did. The main thing is we have a going down the side. And we have B across the top. And then we'll input entries. So we need A to be bigger than B. So these are our points. So we don't have anything that starts with a 1. I have 2, 1. No 2, 2. No 2, 3. 3, 1 and 3, 2. But not 3, 3. And then 4, 1, 4, 2 and 4, 3. Let's find the ordered pairs given here. So A goes across the side, B grows, goes across the top. So I have the point 1A, 1B, 1D, 2B, 2C, 3A, 3C, and 3E, which are all given here. And it's easy to see reflexive, symmetric, and anti-symmetric when I'm dealing with these matrices. So it's reflexive if all the elements on the main diagonal are equal to 1. The elements off the main diagonal can be whatever they want as long as the diagonal is 1. It's symmetric if Mij is equal to Mji. So basically, if I treat the diagonal like a mirror, it should look the same on both sides. And it's anti-symmetric if Mij is equal to 1 with I not equal to J implies Mji is equal to 0. So basically, once again, if I treat the diagonal kind of like a mirror, at least one of the matching entries needs to be a 0. So for example, I have the reflexive, where you can see across the diagonal, all 1s. Symmetric, if I treat this like a mirror, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So things match. Anti-symmetric, once again, if I treat this like a mirror, one, at least 1 needs to be 0. So I have a 0, 0, that works. 0, 1, one of them is a 0. A 0, 1, once again I have the property. 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 0. So the main thing is at least one entry needs to be a 0, which we do have. So let's look at this one. We can see that this is reflexive, since the main diagonal is all 1s. In addition, matching entries, I have a 1, 1, a 0, 0, and a 1, 1. So this is also symmetric. However, it's not anti-symmetric, since the only way to be both reflexive and anti-symmetric would be if there was only ones on the diagonal and nowhere else. So we can also combine these relations. So R1 union R2 and R1 intersect R2. So union happens when either one of them is a 1. So in the first entry, I have a 1. The second entry, they're both 0. The third entry, they're both 1. My second row, I have a 1 and a 0, so I have get a 1. 0, 1 gives me 1, and 0, 1 gives me 1. 0, 1 gives me 1, 1, 0 gives me 1, and then 0, 0 becomes 0. 
For the intersection, I need them both to be a 1. And we'll see that only happens in the first row in the first and third column. 